Welcome back, everyone. Going into the second hour here of week 23 of the West Marches. Stephen, what's up? Yeah, so um, Farhan opens the door. He says, come in, come in. And he's gesturing to the inside. Um, and you see in here, like, let's see what I can draw. There's this wide sort of hallway that he's beckoning you into. Oh, you're showing a map. Yeah. And there's a staircase that goes up right here. It goes up to a landing up here, and then it turns into a room over here. And then there's another room uh, sort of back that away, and there's a room off to the right. And he says, um, yeah, he says, please, please come into my study. Uh, and he beckons you into this room to the right over here. Do you go with him? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this room is just, it's just an enclosed room with one entrance into the entry wall, entryway. There's a, uh, it's like. These are, these are windows? So he yeah, was addressing, a, a he was addressing us from the study? Yeah. Um, okay. So those are windows. Uh, he's got a couple of people in here, actually. There's, there's a guy mm -hmm. who appeared to have been waiting at the other window. And he has, he's holding a, a crossbow in his arms. Um, he's just like some random dude. He looks like he's wearing like some shoddy leather armor. It doesn't look like particularly battle trained. This other guy who's hanging out with Farhan, he, he does look like he's, he's wearing like studded leather armor. He has a scimitar at his waist. He's got a crossbow over his back and a, a quiver of 20 well-made bolts sitting on his back, or 19, I guess now. Um, he looks like he's actually seen some action and knows what to do with a weapon. But uh, this other guy, like, you know, not so much. Okay. Um, so I guess you guys brought Lyra and Poe with you? Is that the plan? Yeah. Grigori, mm -hmm. you're in there with them? Uh, I'll, I'll stay out here. Okay. Yeah, um, he beckons you inside. He says, please, please, come in. Now, tell me how you found these, these two reprobates who stole from me. Tell me the tale of their downfall. And he goes over to he goes over to Poe and he like cups him under the chin and looks in his face, turning his head one way and then the other and saying, Ah oh, yes, I remember. Stephen, are they there were any, supposed to be my guards. Are there any mirrors in the room? Yeah, there's a there's a big mirror on this north wall. So I can see it very clearly? Yes. Uh oh. Farhan's back is to it. Uh, can you turn the mirror away, please? He just sort of looks at you, and then he just sort of laughs. Ha! <laughs> Turn the mirror away, young lad. I don't think you understand your situation. I'm going to turn you into flesh oozes. Yes, flesh oozes. Oh, so that's what that was outside. Oh, yeah, he, he turns and looks at you. Yes, the mud is nasty stuff. Never go in it. But I need it for my experiments. So I hire the workers to go in it for me. Once a day or thereabout, someone gets zapped by the energies flowing through the muck and they turn into some horrible carnivorous blob of flesh. Disgusting, really. But I hire guards to keep the incidents down. Well, if you're so, after a story, they were in the tavern, boasting about their achievements, mm. spending your coin, and we were drinking over the ways. We caught eyes... And we thought, you know, we're looking for work. We're good mercenaries. We'll bring you a little gift. Spending my coin. The gall. I tell you what. What, are, what is your name, good soldier? Good uh, soldier. Call me Galahad. Guys, to me. Galahad, yes. Galahad, Galahad. McGloop. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, why don't you accompany me downstairs with these gentlemen? I would like to put them in a holding cell for later, and and you and I can stop by my reserve. We can grab a bottle of wine and enjoy ourselves up here. There's actually uh, a little situation, um, just something else that I've come to tell you about, but I'm afraid... We're going to have to do it away from ears. And I motion towards the guard and the peasant. 
Oh yes, yes, of course, of course. Well, well, uh, he yeah, he turns to um, he turns to the guard and he says, um, Captain, stay here, watch the perimeter. I'm taking my newfound friends downstairs for some of our special reserve. Uh, when you look over at Poe again, he's been fixated on the mirror the entire time, and he's not audibly crying, but he's definitely got like tears going down. Tears his running face. down his face. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Stupid That's little it. baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. So we're all so going? They, well, okay, so here's the thing. I want to, um, I guess the three of you and the wizard are going to leave the room, right? The captain and the peasant are going to stay here? Yeah. Is that the plan? Okay. Yes. So before that happens, I'm going to say to the wizard, I'm like, um, all of this walking and now talk of wine, I need to go and make some room. Uh, and I say to Galahan, I'm just going to go around back and drain the worm. I'll be right back. And I like go outside and I'm like fiddling with the like drawstring on my pants. Uh, to yeah. make it very obvious to everyone around that I'm going to pee outside. Yeah. Uh, you make a bluff check. I, really? <laughs> Who am I bluffing? No, it's it's. Well, it, it, I mean, if I said to you, if I said to you, I'm gonna go outside and pee, would you be like liar? <laughs> well, like <laughs> liar. This isn't this isn't just any old situation, right? This is you guys are trying to convince a wizard that you're not gonna go summon a dragon. I, there's, uh, no, there's no way he's gonna think that I'm doing anything other than pissing outside. Well, but he might think that you're not doing the pissing, right? That's mm. that's you know. If he has if he has somewhere else he'd like to suggest for me to pee, he's welcome to. But I'm I am I mean okay. Here's the thing: it's not a bluff because I am actually gonna go and pee outside. <laughs> All right, Gregory. He says he says he says <laughs> no. Wait, you're you're with this gentleman Galahan, aren't he's you? He's my yes. accomplice. Yes. Uh. Please, use the facilities upstairs. They're uh, at the end of the hall. You can't miss them. They're really rather fine. I kind of like look uh, uncomfortably around. I'm like, this place is very fancy. I don't know if I uh, will accidentally uh, in flower pot or... I'm sorry, I am uncivilized. Uh, could you give me the... Actually, I'm going to say to the peasant, I'm like, could you show me the way, please? Uh... The peasant looks at you to the, the, to the bathroom? Yes, yes. I don't know my left from right. Yeah, Farhan, Farhan, he sort of like looks impatient. He turns to the peasant. He says, well, show our guests where the bathroom is. Yes, of course. He turns to you again and says, once you've made some room, come on downstairs. It's, uh, he points like, he's, he's back here and he points just up, like, up this away. He's like... Mm -hmm. Yes, the, the downstairs is simply back here and then to your right. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll meet you downstairs. Yeah. So, yeah, Dr. Gregory, you go up the stairs with the peasant so following So I, I get you. the peasant to, no, I get the peasant to go in front of me because he's leading the way. Okay, yep, makes sense. Sure, fine. Uh, Farhan comes down here. Uh, Galhan, are you following? Yeah. Yeah, so the captain's waiting up here. Uh, you're pushing Poe and Lyra ahead of you. So let's see what you see. Yep, there's uh, this. Yeah, there's a staircase over here in the corner, just leading downstairs. Um, this room is actually like a large kitchen area. And it sort of looks like this, basically. And yeah, there's, you see a little bit more of just what the house layout is kind of like here. Yeah, um, Farhan leads you downstairs. Um, so, Grigori, what are you doing upstairs? So, when we get upstairs, is there a hallway or... Yeah, there's, there's a hallway. It stretches the length of the house. So, let me draw that out for you here. Okay. I, do I, I don't see anybody else? No. Okay. Uh, so, I'll, I'll, I'll say... Ah, fuck it. I'll just... As soon as we, he gets into the hallway, I just take out my mace and just smash the back of his head in. Nice. Awesome. Good. <laughs> Love it. He's not wearing a helmet, right? <laughs> no, he's not wearing a helmet. Because okay, if he was, I would just pull it sideways and then bash his head in. Whatever. Yeah, so this is what the uh, the upstairs looks like. Okay, um, okay, so make an attack roll. Okay. Or make, you know, make your mace attack. Sure. Okay, 13. 13 hits, so you deal 6 bludgeoning damage. So, yeah, like, you know, you, you smash him. Um, I'm going to give you an automatic crit for being, like, entirely un... 
he was entirely unaware that you were going to do this. Okay. So roll another whatever your damage dice is there. Uh, D6. Okay, another five. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, you, okay. you nail him. He's down, down for the count. Nice. He just goes poof. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, like as soon as you're upstairs, like you just, like, are you waiting for Ferran to, to sound like he's out of range? No, I mean, I, I want to make it quick and quiet and just like as soon as we get around the corner, uh, I'm just like, smash. I don't say anything. I don't do anything else. Yeah, let me see. Um, I'm going to roll a listen check or a perception test for the, actually, I want you to make a stealth check. Uh, and then if the captain has passive perception that beats that, then trouble for okay. Gory. All right. Um, you get it. You get advantage for being so far away. Okay. I like the guy in chat. What saying, is up? I turn wow. invisible. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Wow. He just ceases to exist. Straight up twenty. Yeah, he's got a passive perception of 10, so there's no way he heard you. You I guess, Maybe you, like, cradled the guy's head as you were bashing it. So that, hey man, this, like, is nice. sort of this is nice. This, this is Tom Clancy's Dr. Grigori up yeah, in here. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, totally. Okay, so, yeah, that's uh, the captain hears nothing. He's just, like, watching the outsides. Um, Farhan brings the three of you downstairs. He opens a door at the bottom of the stairs, um, and there's a, a, a cavernous room um, and you can see like barrels stacked along one wall, uh, Gallahan. At the far end of the room, there are um, there's like a, a finely ornate door with two like ornate columns next to it. Um, and then like on the right hand side of the room, you see like uh, a wooden wall that divides it uh, with a door in it. Okay. Yeah. Um, so for Han, he he. He goes into the room behind you, and he closes the door behind him. Uh, and then you you hear like the jingling of keys and the click of a lock. And Farhan turns around and he says, "So, Galahan, what were these peasants spending my money on exactly?" Uh, the usual food, pleasurable company, which is odd for the boy considering he looks about seven. Pleasurable company. That's terrifying. Really, truly terrifying. Right? Yes. Very concerning that a boy of this age would spend the gold that he stole from me on pleasurable company. You look like a paladin. Sick. You look I like am. a holy man. I, what is your take on that? Uh, I mean, stealing is wrong. Wrong. <laughs> it, it is, is indeed. Wrong. But strangely enough, these two never stole gold from me. Oh, they must have pawned what they stole from you for gold. Yes, they must have pawned what they stole from me for gold. Um, he just, like, starts working a number of symbols in the air with his right hand. Kill him. Gallahan. Punch him in the face, kill him. Kill him, um, don't let him cast a spell. Put your sword in him, make him dead, go. Yeah. Grigori, what are you what are you doing upstairs? My fucking failure sense is tingling. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> as soon as I smash the dude's head in, uh, I'm just gonna run for the nearest door. Yeah. Um, and assuming that it's not etched in arcane runes or anything, um, yeah. I just I kick it in. Yeah. So I guess that's this one. Okay. Is there anybody? You, is there anybody in the room? Are you no longer being stealthy? Um. Well, no. I mean, I gotta be fast now, right? Yep. So, sure. Yeah, I, I bash the guy's head in. Uh, I go over, and I guess I'd open the door. I wouldn't kick it in. Yeah, you, I am, yeah I'm still being quiet. Freely. Yeah, mm -hmm. you just okay. pull open the pull open the door. It opens <laughs> into anybody? a, a, it's a unlocked, lushly kick it down anyway. bedroom. Kick it out anyway. I close it, <laughs> then I kick it down. Yeah. Is there anybody in the room? <laughs> nope. Is there anything valuable in the room? Well, like, like immediately, a, like obviously, like spell books or like. <sighs> No, there's nothing like spell books. Like the room is richly furnished, but there's nothing that you would be like, "Oh, look, jewels, steel." Right, nothing I can jam in my pockets. Okay, so I'll run over to the window and light an arrow and fire it out the window. Okay, cool. Calling uh, in the fucking airstrike. Yeah, you you uh, you light the arrow and you fire it into the air and it goes arcing through the night sky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and you hear this. Like, just off in the distance, you hear this almost immediate, this boom of thunder. Word. Um, so, let me see here. Do we, do we hear the boom downstairs? Yeah, those, those of you who are downstairs, you, you all hear this sort of, like, shuddering boom. So, but it doesn't right. feel like, th it doesn't sound like thunder to you. It just sounds yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, more like an earthquake. 
Let's see. What's what's Farhan trying to do? Hmm. Get stabbed to death? Can I make a uh, arcana roll to know if he's making a spell or casting a spell? Oh, he's casting a spell. Get, okay. Get him. Just initiative and get him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, see. Country music. Yeah. Um, no one knows what that means but me. He, he points to, he points at you, Galahan, and he utters uh, like a single powerful word, and there's a flash of light from his mouth as he speaks it, and it, it lights up the entire space with this lightning crack of white light. Um, would you make... A DC 14 Constitution saving throw. What is this no initiative horseshit, Steven? Yeah, I would have reacted to this shit straight yeah. away. As soon as he started going like this, I would have. Don't my try and pull this thing. shit with me. This is called you a surprise round. Oh, goodness, wow. 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 <laughs> We'd still get to roll. All right. Was it Constitution saving throw? Yes. That's a little heart, right? Yeah, it's a little heart. Yeah. Ooh. All right, you, you, you are oh, blinded. You, you have advantage. Well, fuck, you didn't say it, but you do have advantage from last episode. Or sorry, inspiration from last. You still episode. have that. You still have that D four I gave you too. Yeah, the is, wouldn't is, save, but it though. wouldn't. It wouldn't. Is your you. is your inspiration box still ticked? Yeah. He, he never used it from last episode from the stories. So. Do you want to resist this? Oh, I never used it. Yes. Okay. Actually. All right. Seriously, being blind is horseshit. He'll tear you up if you if you're blind. Yeah. Okay. So you so use I, it. I'm a, yeah, I'm using it. I'm using inspiration. All right, cool. Yeah, you roll a 15 instead of an 8 on your constitution saving throw, and <laughs> you do not fall on con, or you do not fall blind. Uh, so this flash leaves like a haze of light in your eyes, but it clears quickly. Now everybody roll initiative. This guy. This fucking guy. Oh, hold on. I'm reading <laughs> chat. When did I use it? I don't when did, when it. did he use it? I don't I don't I even remember him using it. I definitely didn't use it. Look, if if, if Steven's allowed to cheat Shit. and just have a free round, then you can cheat. <laughs> That's not <laughs> a free round, it's a, it's a surprise round. round. It surprised my ass, Steven. <laughs> there was much opportunity for an in, uh, an insight test. You literally said he's waving his hand. Oh, whatever. <laughs> That's that's uh, when do, you want, do you want me to do you want me to do initiative now too? I didn't use it on the search of the dragon. I didn't need it. Steven, should I roll initiative too? Yes. Wow, he crit. Great. Fantastic. Oh, that's the captain. That's the captain. Okay. Uh, captain well. doesn't know anything's going on yet, so he's he's just in the tower. <laughs> he's just chilling in the study. Yeah, I'll try to I'll try to deal with him. Oh. Oh, hold on. Fuck. And okay, yeah, I got an eleven. And eleven. Good. Uh, oh wait. Uh, Why do you roll twice for that? I have a hammer that gives me advantage on initiative. Cool. Okay. okay. Oh, and then and then ah uh, yeah and then we we need one more, one more initiative guy. Yeah, here. our boy, our boy Dagron. Mm-hmm. So I've got this awesome drawing from I'm Runiel on Twitter. Beautiful. Drew this awesome <clears throat> dragon drawing. I'm yeah, I wrote a 19 on the side check, guys. I didn't need the inspiration. I didn't use move him over here, and he gets initiative as well. He's so What's... tiny. He's large. Yep, boop. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Dragon oh my boy. god. He's been Twice. waiting. Mm. That's weird. <clears throat> that represents the dragon of Azimuth. Yep. Good check. Check, check. Good. Shy yes. Halud. Yeah. Good. And then I'll use this and mm. just make sure that the token is all set up properly and everything. I thought I'd done this before. That's okay. Good. Now we're done. All right. Good. Let's order that initiative list mm. and see what happens. It's the captain first. He doesn't mm. know anything's going on. Lyra, your turn. All right, so I slip my rope off, mm. and then uh, I'm going to cast my Hail of Thorns, which okay. means, so I can do that, and then I can shoot at him, right? Yeah, that's so works. hang on, let me, uh, I don't know if that's let me like, put y'all over here into this secondary room that's like in a basement or something like that. Okay. And then, yeah, so Fran is like here, Galahad is like here. 
Just so you are aware, uh, I believe that also does have friendly fire. On How it do now. you know that? Because it doesn't. It just says a creature. So it's. I guess that's up to Steven, but. What's the spell called? Well, it says the target of the attack, uh, Hail of Thorns. Oh, is it? Is it just the target? Uh, no, um, each creature within five feet of it. Okay, that that should be fine. You might get yeah. Galahan, but who? You cares? won't get Galahan. It's yeah, you'll be fine because it's this area. Perfect. Yeah. So like, there's a wooden okay. wall here with a door in it. There's this staircase going up over here. This is where the staircase up is. And there's a bunch of barrels along this wall here. And at the very end here, there's this door. It's a black door. It's very ornately inscribed. And there are these two ornate columns next to it right here. Okay, so Lyra, your turn. You're casting Hail of Thorns. Uh -huh. Let me take a look at exactly what that does. Hmm. Is that a level one spell? Yep, Hail of yep. Thorns. So it's a concentration spell. You can only have one concentration spell active at one time. This lasts for a minute. The next time you hit a creature with a ranged attack before this spell ends, it creates a rain of thorns. Um, in addition to the normal effects of the attack, the target and each creature within five feet must make a dexterity saving throw. It takes 1d10 piercing damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful save. Okay, cool. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, uh, that is... It's a bonus action, so you still get to make your attack roll. So go ahead right. and make your shot. Nice. Okay, well, your 22 it absolutely nails him. Definitely. Let me see. <laughs> like 10 feet from him, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> if you missed from that range. No, that... I just quit. <laughs> there's there's an age-old story of roleplay where someone was... About two inches from someone and failed to hit him. So, <laughs> nice. so, yeah. aim at the back of his head to so hit him in the leg. Four piercing yeah. damage plus five. Is that what it is? Yeah, it looks like it. So, oh, it has to make his dexterity saving throw. Let me do that. Dexterity, boop. Oh, it does. Okay, so what does it take? Half as much. So it takes uh, two damage. So it takes ah. six damage total. Whoa, not ninety-six, just six. Got a little <laughs> excited there. Yeah. Okay. Um, like he cries out. The dragon of Azamrath. I'm going to say that he'll arrive in two rounds. So he will arrive in one more round. Sweet. So let's see. I'll just put a one there. Perfect. The dragon of Azamrath. Okay. Poe, your turn. Uh, I guess we're going to get Harry Potter in here, and I'm just going to start channeling Witch Bolt on him. Okay, cool. That's right. So that's an uh, eighth. Is this armor class? Expecto that Patronum. Yeah, unfortunately. So like Ooh, gonna, you, you strike this bolt of, of lightning towards him, right? And um, he holds up his hands uh, sort of in an awarding motion. And he's wearing bracers on his arms that flash. And your lightning just goes and it skews around him and it strikes the wall behind him. Great. Dr. Grigori. Um, so you said there isn't anything valuable or magical in this room? Correct. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run out into the hall. Okay. Do I hear anything when I get out here? Like, I'm yeah, basically I'm listening for... Besides the, like, time, rumbling like, and um, shit. What's happened, like, Pose cast a spell, so that's like a crackling bolt of lightning, which Would lightning... Would you have seen the light, like, fire out the basement, maybe? No, the basement's mm -hmm. underground, so there, there okay. would be no light escaping. Um, so, yeah, like, you've... you've... Yes. Yeah, okay. you've heard stuff. Um, I'm going to kick this door open. Is there anything in this other room? Yeah, okay. You kick the door open. There's nothing in that room. That's actually the bathroom. That's the bathroom? Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I ponder for a moment actually peeing, and then I'm like, no. <laughs> Fighting. No, and then no, I, no. Uh, I will drink. I will quaff my uh, potion of blessing. Ooh, nice. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there's so a So I draw it out. Take a shot. Uh, and so... Cool. So that, that affects you with the effect of the bless spell for ten for, minutes without needing um, without needing yeah. concentration. So anytime you make an attack roller saving throw before the spell ends for ten minutes, you can roll a d4 and add the number to the attack roller saving throw. Right now, a big plus d4 and underlining it four times so I don't forget. Okay, cool. If I make a roll that's an attack roll or a saving throw and I don't roll that d4, someone remind me, please. Yep, everybody so in chat I, can freak out. Yeah, uh, I shoot the potion. And how much movement was that? How much? How many movement like squares did it take for me to kick the door in? I mean, like, uh, 
10. Okay. I mean, that yeah, was probably so all of your move action. Okay. Yeah, you just want me to end up there? That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Galahan, your turn. All right. <clears throat> Galahan just looks at the wizard and he's like, kind of like rubbing his eyes a little bit. And he's like, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> and then just like unsheathed the tooth of grief. Yeah. And then he just he just whispers, Ophidian. Oh shit. And like the energy starts to shoot up his arm. It yeah. feels like this feels the presence of the serpent. And then he just attacks Farron Morkos. Yeah. I'm I'm just, looking at uh I'm looking at everybody's health here just to like get uh, so up in his shit. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Man. An eight is unfortunately Fuck. not good enough to hit. Can I use my? The, oh no, that's only on abilities, right? No, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I missed. I'm still like a little bit blinded by the light. Right. So yeah. I just stab wide. Cool. Okay. Um, for Han, he he sort of like looks around at you. Um, and he 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 wonders what's going on a little bit. Uh, he. What's he gonna do? Um, uh, let's look at his spells. Hmm. He um he he just looks at you in in surprise. Uh he, he spouts off, he says, um mercenary, yes, but working for my enemies, I think. And then he he throws like something to the ground. Like you, you see something appear in his hand and, and shoot down to the ground like a, a little black goblet. Uh and, and as he's doing it, he says, I'll let my friends handle you, and then like this flash of light and a burst of smoke appears uh, and when it clears he's he's gone he's he's just completely gone um, and then you see the door like you hear jingling you hear the door open and you see the door open and then you see the door slam closed and you hear jingling and a click behind the door closing uh-huh. invisible motherfucker so let's see <clears throat> Mm-hmm. It's totally fine. If he runs outside, like, the dragon can fuck him up. Does he have... This is true. Oh, we could fight him outdoors. We should. It'll give us space to run around, too. Okay, cool. Yeah, so he goes invisible and he fucks off. Um, and then... Let me see. How does... Now, if you're blinded, you can still make, or if someone's invisible, you could still make attacks on him. I think Galahan yes. still gets to take a swing. It, they have, they count as having full cover. Okay, so yeah, Galahan, you still get to take a shot at him as he runs. No, because he wasn't in. He wasn't within. Oh yeah, but it's within. Yeah, because Galahan's got a big long. Yes. Point yeah, yeah, yeah. So Galahan, you do actually get to make an attack of opportunity. Okay. That's just a regular attack, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, you miss. <laughs> yeah. <You've, laughs> you thrust your lance yeah. through the place where you thought he was. You're the chosen was a flash of Puff of smoke. <laughs> He's just gone. Yeah, so let's see. Uh-huh. Yeah, man, if I had landed by oh, place, you'd be dead by now. Oh, fuck. What the fuck <laughs> is that? Are you serious? Fuck. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I feel like he, like, so... hacked into this website. Well, Adam runs it, so technically he could. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's not suspicious at all. How many natural 20s does uh, Steven have so far? Not that many. Three? He said two. He rolls pretty well, though, on the show. Oh, no, three's true. I got, I got the skills, the magic fingers. That's right. I've got my bad ones out of the way now, so. Steven's just pretty good at role playing. Dead meat, Steven. Yeah, it's this is the game part of role playing game. I'm just It's okay. Good. It's totally okay. We if if the dragons outside and the wizards outside, they can fight and then mm-hmm. So, that's that and I need like some damn I like your optimism. I need it's not some optimism, it's pragmatism. <laughs> Fine, I take it back. Just <laughs> just just wait, just wait until later when you're fighting the wizard and I'm like, "Oh, it's okay. You're fighting the wizard. I'm going to go." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, cool. So, um these two, these two ornately carved columns. You realize they're not columns. They're they're like suits of armor that were just standing in a cylindrical shape up next to the door, and they like their arms go, and they just start walking towards you. What would these um, things be made out of? Iron or steel. <laughs> Ama, po. Oh, fantastic! Let me know when I can go. Yeah, I, I <laughs> certainly will, Poe. All right, that was Ferran, uh, the captain. Um, he also hears this commotion, 
Uh, and he's just going to run. He goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes. nine, run ten. The that's that's where he runs. Lyra, it's your turn, and it's these guys who get added to add turn twenty. Wait. Okay, so, with the spells, how do I know how often I can cast them? Um, you can so uh, cantrips, which I don't think you have any. Cantrips you can cast as often as you want. First level spells like Hail of Thorns, mm -hmm. you can cast them whenever you want, but you only have a certain number of them per day, and you'll get your spells back after a long rest. So you've cast one of them, you have one more, so you can cast your next spell as soon as you want, but you've only got one more for the entire fight. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna actually use my ranged attack on the animated armor on the right. Okay, let's see. That's the one with the red dot on it? Yes. Okay, so there's red one and blue one. Okay, cool. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. 21. Damn, you nail nice. it. And does that does that roll account for your plus two, or is it not? Okay. You, didn't, you, you didn't set I see, it up, I see it. No, I see it in there. It's a 16 yeah. plus two plus three. But I think that plus two, two is actually... No, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's actually 22. a 23. So you just nail it like straight through the eye socket or something like that. You deal five piercing damage to it. Fantastic. Well done. Okay. Yeah. So this is the last turn the Dragon of Azamrath travels. And he will arrive next turn. Animated armor time. So this this animated armor right here. Boy, I wish I had more bookmarks. That would be good. Oh, I don't need that bookmark. Good. Um, yep. He's got a speed of 25. Well, he's going to just step up to Galahan like this. Mm -hmm. And he's going to take a swing. So that's plus four to hit. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, right, Keyscape. Wait, they get the, this is entirely. They get the same initiative as the wizard? Uh, they rolled separately. Uh, yeah. It's actually that they that have was, the same that initiative. Oh, that was the fucking that was 20. 20. 20. Yeah. 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 Uh, and cool. then the second one uh, moves up. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. To I'll po. take a swing before he gets towards Poe. You can't. What? Why not? Look at this. You see this? Yep. The the reason you can't is because <laughs> he has shit? to he has to leave the area you threaten. Once he enters the area you threaten, is. he can move around you as much as he wants. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, because he went it's from not... an area you threatened into an area you're still threatening. Oh, I yeah. see. Okay. It's it's not like fifth edition. If he had gone third, back, third edition, if he'd gone past, you would have been able to swing. Yeah. 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 That's what I thought. So this is a, a oh. second. He swings a fist at you, Poe. Oh damn! Look at that. Now who's not rolling well? All right, it's your turn, Poe. Oh look, they have multi attack. Each of you gets a second attack. That's stripping. That's Poe. Both of you get hit. Oh. <laughs> so no damage. Wait, what's your what's your armor class, Galahan? Uh, Galahan's a sixteen right now. Sixteen, according to his character sheet. Uh, mm -hmm. Galahan, you take four damage. Uh, Poe, you take three damage. Great. All told, not no no big shakes. Poe, it's your turn. Um, so, what if they're already at disadvantage, and I have something that puts them at disadvantage? Does that mean that it Doesn't just matter. automatically hits? Doesn't. Uh, sorry, what? So, say that again. If you have disadvantage, what? no, no. If if no. someone is rolling disadvantage, and I have something that will take normal rolls and make it disadvantage, does that nullify to make it auto hit? Uh, no, they just stay at disadvantage. I think. Yeah, 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 it doesn't. You can't, yeah. you can't tear it down. Okay. Right. It, it, it doesn't stack. You either have disadvantage or advantage or none. And if you have advantage and disadvantage, you have neither. The other question is, if I'm in the range of this spell, will it hit me? Depends <clears throat> on this. Uh, are you linking something to me? No. I mean, I'll just. I want to cast shatter, but it's a ten foot circle, and I want to focus it on Galahan. So okay, it's the two an animated armors. Yeah, let me look it up real quick. I mean, technically, I could cast it right here, and it won't hit. Actually, it will hit me. It'll hit everyone in this ten foot cube. I mean, I yep. could just I could just show you the info right here. I just pasted it. There you go. Sudden loud ringing noise. Each creature. Yeah, yeah. It's each creature. Yep. Yeah, disadvantage. Very nice. That's that's pretty slick. So it would hit me in Galahan. Yes. Galahan, yeah, how are you feeling thing. today? Oh, Come don't do it. that. Don't, uh, I don't think make I want to do Don't make it easier on them. Yeah, I'm but feeling it, great. But I'm in, I'm in combat range, so I can't even move, right? Because if I move back, he'll get yeah. an attack. Well, you can but, disengage yeah. instead of acting. 
You can disengage uh, and then run. Yes. That's true. So, like, just in case y'all were curious, and, uh, and you might find this the most useful, um, there's a combat actions handout. Boop, right here. So, like, you guys can just take a look at that and see all of the things that you can do. Dodge, if, dash, dip, if duck, you want, dodge. Uh, yeah, if you want to take that and, like, pull it out, there's a little button on the top left to pop it out and it becomes another browser window you can move yeah. so you can still see the map. You just click that link in the Skype. Yeah. Yep, perfect. Uh, so, and it was uh, it was actually Shippendale who sent that to me. So shout out to the uh, one of the other Twitch GMs. Uh, has any of these been hit yet? Actually, I just need to get the fuck out of here. I'm just going to disengage um, back over here. Towards the this. red one. The red one is taking damage. Okay, okay you, you disengage. Cool. Yeah, sure. I disengage to like the top of the stairs. Like right. Yeah, here. you're gonna have to deal with the captain in a second. But if you can distract him, I'll come up behind him. All right, Doctor, your turn. Uh, okay, well, I'm still doing my fucking due diligence, so I'm going to come up here and yank each of these doors open, looking to see if there's anybody in the room. Bedrooms, empty. Totally empty? Like, I mean, devoid of people, but like... Do devoid I see... of people, furnished, rich, you know, fancy bedrooms. Do either of them look like the wizard's bedroom? No. Okay. Where does this fucking guy sleep? All right. Well, there's no the second floor. So where are the upstairs from here? I didn't this is this you are on the upstairs. This, oh, so he, he he sleeps probably on the ground floor. We didn't see that. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Okay. All right. Well, then I'll just continue my. I just like psh, psh, nothing, and then continue okay. as far down the stairs as I can get. So. Like you can you can move another thirty feet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. All right, Mister Oathkeeper. Okay. So Gahan takes this blow, and he just like takes a deep breath, and then he gains three health. Nice. <laughs> nice. And then uh, he like opens his arms, and he just bear hugs this animated armor, and goes for a grapple attempt. Okay, interesting. Go for it. Okay. Is that a strength roll? What are you? Yeah. Yeah, it's like strength opposed by their athletics or something like that. Yeah, sounds right. Am I just rolling strength then? Uh, let me see exactly. I'll have it in a moment. Uh, F, G, element O, R, grapple, 195. That's the, that's the page in this book. It was in the combat thing you just pasted to us. Awesome. Yeah, strength opposed by their strength or uh, dexterity check. So yeah, it's an athletics check versus either athletics or acrobatics. So use your athletics skill. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh damn. God. I think the defender wins, right? Yeah. Okay, so like, you know, you, you try to grapple him and, and with the magically animated strength of his steel armor, he just sort of like shrugs you off. Uh, both of you sort of grapple with each other for six seconds. So let's see. Uh, that was that. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm assume you, I assume you're keeping track of where. You can put Fairhand on the GM layer and we won't be able to see him if you want to track oh, that's the invisible awesome, wizard. Actually. Look then at you know how exactly excellent. where he is. It oh, hold happen. on, hold on. Gellahan, you can add that plus d4, because this is actually a skill check. Yes. Ooh, add oh, it. Can, add Gallahan, it. If you can, if you want. Yeah. There we you go. beat Here him. Go. You get him grappled. Oh, Which one? Adam, you're you're Adam, grappling the red you. one? I'm, <laughs> I'm grappling the one next to Lyra. Okay, blue one. Yeah. Uh, blue one is grappled. Let me see. What so I... so you, yeah, you'd, you'd go to grab it, and then your own like physical strength Good. isn't enough, and then suddenly the dark power of Grigori's treatment like fills you, and you can squeeze yeah. it back. It's like green veins. Yeah. Totally. In my arms. Yeah. And it's like, oh. Awesome. Oh. I feel like they're also glowing a little bit in this room that's just yeah. lit by like you know the torch that you brought in from the outside or something like that, and so there's like green glow on the ceiling. Chat, chat yeah. To the rescue. Awesome. Chat to the rescue. Do for us, that's why. So now it's it's Farhan. So let's see. Um, hmm. Yeah, GM layer is the shit. Because tracking invisible characters on a map like this is such bullshit. Galahan Cena. <laughs> yeah. Um, Gregory, you hear you hear a voice. You hear Farhan. He says, um, "Don't worry about them. They're locked inside. Find the other." Yeah. And then the captain. Where the captain. where where is the voice? Like it's it's just coming from down here, right? Yeah, it's coming from down the hall. Isn't um, isn't um, Farah what's his face in this room? 
next to the captain. No, he... He'd oh. be in that room, wouldn't he, to the he, right? He's probably still in this room, yeah, talking to the captain. They're probably passing yeah. each other. Yeah, so the, the captain, he, he hears this, and he immediately runs one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and I think, like, he gets you here, and he sees you, and he just sort of stops in his track. He's pretty surprised to see you there. He's, like, okay. looking through the banister at you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like there's actually a wall separating the place. there's a wall separating the stairs from this hallway. Yeah. Lyra, your okay. turn. So so in that case then he's not actually like threatening me with his weapon because there's a wall here, right? He right. Can't draw a or, uh, he he you would get partial cover for him threatening you. Okay. Yeah. Because okay. you are you are officially off the stairs, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So Lyra. Galahan is currently grappling with the blue armor. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna move over here and attack the red one with nice. my short sword. Um, now, I shouldn't be saying this to you, but <laughs> if you move a, a little bit further away, like uh, here instead, then Poe can cast that shatter spell and he's guaranteed to only hit Galahan and not you. Oh, okay. Don't try and fucking troll us into hitting Galahad with the spell. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if that's something that he actually wants to do. You know, but just fucking rain it in, like, buddy. That's still like 10 foot. So I don't you should be... Don't listen to Steven. He's trying to fuck you over. You should be attacking the one that Galahad is grappling, <laughs> so you have advantage. I don't know what advantage means. Yeah, that's okay. It's, it's like, when you get to roll yeah. two d20 and you get the best one. Yeah. Rather than... Advantage, advantage means you have an advantage and you just roll two d20 instead of only one. And you take the better as Adam just succinctly explained. <laughs> okay, so should I move back? I don't, I'm like confused now about what we're, because um, I thought that I couldn't attack the one that he was grappling with. No, you can you definitely attack, attack whichever one of them you want. That's oh, sort of the point. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay, sure. Then, uh, well, so I already used my short sword roll, right? Uh, I don't know what get, I mean by like the roll 1d20 thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's, let's ignore that. Um, we're we're still figuring out what exactly you want to do. So you can move you can move wherever you like. Um, you can move here, for example, and then shoot if you feel like you're stronger with your bow, which you are. Or you could just move like back here, and shoot. All right. I'm gonna put the door right, All right. here. So that's well, right. Okay, so that's the door. So Poe is headed up the stairs toward the door. Yeah. Okay. But you're like facing down the stairs, aren't you? Yeah, or, I'm facing yeah. down. I'm Okay, so it doesn't look like Poe's running for the door or anything like that. Cool. Um, all right, well, then I'll move over here to the stairs. Okay. And then I'll shoot at the blue armor. Okay, cool. So do I, just, I still do the ranged attack like normal? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so here's the stupid thing. <laughs> so that's a, that's a 17 versus armor class, which is a miss, actually. So your arrow, like, hits well, its shoulder and then has... bounces off. Toing! Oh, yeah, 17. Doesn't she have grapple? Uh, doesn't she have advantage against grappled targets? So here's the stupid thing. Okay, that was, that was the same. That's the I, I'm, I'm going to read this out to you. Grappled. A grappled creature's speed becomes zero, and it can't yeah. benefit from any bonus to its speed. Two, that's the condition it. ends if the grappler is incapacitated. Three, the condition also ends if an effect removes the grappled creature from the reach of the grappler or the grappling effect, like being pushed by thunder wave. Moral of the story, grapple is bullshit. Technically, it can take an attack of opportunity against you. I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do it with disadvantage because I think that's bullshit. Um, so grappling that's in general is kind of BS. What, Wait, what, was what, you, what, what are we talking what, about here? Talking about how so, pointless grappling is. Yeah. Well, so the, Lyra, the it misses monster you. I grappled has to make a strength check or is incapacitated on its next turn. Okay, so that's that's good. But for so right I now, like, act, the actual the actual grapple condition is really stupid. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. Like he can still I attack. Figured, and I do figured I would just take one of them out of the fight, basically, because they get to attack twice each. It's yeah. incapacitated on its next turn. Yeah, that's what it said. Where it has to make like a strength throw. Yes, but that's to escape your grapple. Yeah, so it doesn't escape my grapple. It can't do anything, right? No, that's see, that's it, what we're talking about. It can do right. everything. It can do it, literally everything except move. It can't move, but that's it. It can really? still kick and punch really? and fight. And yeah, I was wondering if you had a plan for the grapple, but no, grappling is totally the grapple. The grapple. Uh, I mean, I only I only sucks. read what you what was provided on like the combat actions, and it sounded yeah. Like, so like, I'm looking at it now, and I don't see anything about being I coming. Just, yeah, whatever. so all it can do is squirm around to try to get away, but if it gets away, the only difference is it can keep moving. You just grab that's it, fine. so you're, like, tangled. Right. Well, I mean, if it can't move, that's fair enough. They can just beat on me. Yep. 
So it, it missed you, Lyra, um, but you also missed it. Uh, and that was it for your turn. Okay, the dragon arrives. So, um, Gregory, you hear this. Where were you? He was holding someone's hand. Yeah. Up here? I was up there, yeah. Yeah, you hear this shuddering crunch Fuck as yes. the, the house just staggers. <laughs> um, and the dragon comes bursting through. So let's see. It's like it's sort of half flying, half burrowing. So that's it's going to be able to move 50 feet. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. So it just burrows straight through, like right <laughs> past your, your shoulder, Grigori. Yeah. It bores a hole through the house. You're standing there at the bottom of these richly decorated stairs. There's probably like paintings on the wall, up along the wall, and there's like a crystal chandelier hanging from the ceiling. And then this this like two ton mammoth of metal of bronze just comes exploding through the wall. It's like one of those slow motion things where there's like arias playing in the background, and you just see <laughs> this pieces of ceiling <laughs> like tumbling. like this scything circle of teeth just whirling around. As it yeah, perfect. Um, it bowls straight over the captain, uh, and he he takes uh, he he's gonna make some sort of a saving throw. Let's see about that, um, captain. That's gonna be a dexterity save to dodge out of the way. Bloop. Oh, he does actually. So he's gonna take half damage. So I'm gonna say it would be two d six. So he takes three damage from that. Okay. Where does he end up? Uh, he's. <laughs> He's, he's he going to dive towards you because it's dip. it's like the only way that he can move and get out of the way because dodging the other way means he's still on the path of the thing. So okay. that's where he goes. And there's there's so, nothing I can there's nothing I can do to interfere with him or like get in his way. Uh, he's he's all off balance, right? Like the thing is coming by. He's going to jump forward. I can't uh, push him back. I'll give him disadvantage next time. Next time what? For like on on his next round. Oh, I his see. Next he's round. just because he's all off balance. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Exactly. Okay, so now it's animated armor's turns. These two animated armors, uh, the one trying to grapple with you tries to make a, a, an athletics check. Um, so, hang on, what exactly does it need to do? Yeah. Um, Escaping a grapple? Uh, it needs yep. a success on an athletics check against the original athletics DC. Okay, it's the original. Yeah. All right, yeah, it's... Questionable in the book, but I'm I'm willing to allow it. Yeah, to it do doesn't it. say you roll again. Like I think I think the intent is that it's the original check. Yeah, so Gallahan actually got a total of twenty-two. Twenty-two. It needs a natural twenty to be able to escape, so it is totally stuck. Um, cool. Uh, it it does swing at Gallahan twice though. Okay. I'm giving it's, it disadvantage because it's yeah, because otherwise grapple. It's like no one would ever use it for anything. I'm never using it again. And also like. You'd use it. You'd use it to like restrain someone you don't want to kill. But otherwise, if you're trying to kill someone, grappling is never optimal. Just okay. stabbing, smashing. It's so disappointing. But I also know that like Galahan's intention was to mess with this thing's totally. effectiveness. Yeah. So I'm gonna give him the benefit of that. Um, so the second one does not have disadvantage. He just attacks twice with a plus four, nailing you once, missing you that second time. So that's one d six plus two damage for four damage. So you take another four. Poe, it's your turn. All right. Uh, well, I hope I don't. I'm I'm going to do... <laughs> I'm going to uh, invoke Tides of Chaos. So I guess if someone like looks at me, like the bits of dust or something on the, the stairs like start to pick up and come around me, then I'm just going to firebolt. Okay, firebolting. 16. Advantage 16 versus armor class. Which one are you targeting, blue or red? Uh, red, because it's already been hurt. Okay, um, so the fire splashes harmlessly against this armor, leaving a leaving a black scorch across it, but not damaging the structure of the material at all. all right. You can tell that you your attack wasn't quite accurate enough to do. Grigori, you've got this off balance captain. How, the how dragon deep? Of how deep? just blasted through the wall. Yeah, how deep is the dragon's like chasm? What do you mean, how deep? Like how how far? If I push him, how far is he gonna fall? Oh, it, it came blasting through the wall, like flying oh, so it was from the straight. second it was, floor Okay, down. so I'm not yeah, pushing the whole board anything. through the house. Yeah, it's okay. a whole board through the side of the house. All right. Well, I can move here without invoking any kind of a thing, right? Yes. Okay. And the door behind me is closed, or did the the 
It's closed. Dra okay, so the dragon didn't open it? Okay. Um, well, I guess I will just hit him with a weapon. Um, it's a really excellent borehole someone's drawing. I like that. That's me. Thank you. Because <laughs> what's the deal with casting spells if, if I'm in melee range? You disadvantage. If you're, if you're casting a ranged spell, it's disadvantage. Sure. If you're just casting a spell, there's no effect. There's no effect. Yeah, there's no, like, concentration. Or right. Like, well, I'll hit him, and if I hit him, I can use my, um, my, whatever, my channel divinity. Yes, Kiska. The players have fallen into my trap. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to attack him with my sword. So, Kiska's so uninterested in what you have to say. Yep. He's <laughs> literally passed out. Oh, yeah, oh my God. God. <laughs> Brutal. Okay. Uh, he probably, like, he kind of looks at you and goes, Mercenary? Huh. <laughs> Oh wait, hold on. I had oh, but no. Even with advantage, he's okay. Because yeah. he's all staggery. But you said it's disadvantage for him, not advantage yes. for me. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, and so I just take a wild like swipe at him. Yeah. Um, like I'm panicking. Like I'm just like ah, and like take a swing. Um, and then maybe try to pass it off like panic to see if he'll like if he attacks back or if he's distracted by the dragon. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, Galahad, your turn. <laughs> Okay. Reminded so, me to roll while, your while grappled, can I use oh, yeah, an action right. to make the creature prone? Yeah. Uh, it's like, um, there. like yeah, like I'll, I'll definitely let you try to like shove it or something like that. Let's see. I think you can, you can make use it an prone attack or action you can to shove, shove it, five it or make foot. it prone. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to let you make a strength check with advantage because you're already grappling him. Okay. And then you can, you can drop Is him. Is it a, a um, sorry, an athletics check? Or strength. Yeah, check. athletics check. Okay. Let's see here. Twenty-two. That's pretty damn good. Let's hope he doesn't score a twenty. Nope. Yeah, you not. You just knock him straight down. Yeah. So Are I you just, still like, holding on to him, or do you just like him put him on the, the front of his breastplate and I just kick hard under his feet? Cool. And it just this arm, this armor just eats shit on the floor. Just yep. <laughs> straight <laughs> down. Our friend Furhan gets to act. Um, let's see. Yeah, um... Uh, you... You hear from down the hallway, somewhere over this way, uh, Grigori? Yeah. You hear a somewhere word... over where? I didn't see you. It's like, There's a little like over here. Somewhere, somewhere. somewhere over here. You uh, you hear a, a word of power being spoken, and then you can sort of like feel the press of magic on the air as a spell takes effect, um, and that's all. Sure. Yeah. So let's see. I'll just do this. Cool. That's what happens on Farhan's turn. All right. Um, the captain he. He uh, he staggers up. He looks at you with like this wide-eyed look in his eyes as, yeah, as he just and like, accidentally dodged the, the the sword swipe. Yeah, and I'm trying to look at him the same way. I'm like holding my sword, like oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. And I'm like panicking, yeah. like oh god, he's dragon. We have to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, he looks over his shoulder. He says, um, uh, he just he he looks at you uh, and he just runs straight past you. Okay. I need to go back to the token layer. Oh yeah, wait, I need to keep you counting down on Farhan's invisibility spell. Uh-huh. It lasts so an hour, what? What do you have to count that? <laughs> an hour? Invisibility lasts an hour, yeah. You must be looking at a different spell from me. I mean, if it's the same as mine, then it lasts an hour, but... It's definitely not. Okay, all right. Okay. Um, yeah, this, so this captain, he just like, he, he runs to the door, he shoves it open, and then he starts running outside. Yeah, I don't take my attack of opportunity. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In fact, I'm encouraging him. I'm nodding and being like, fucking let's go, let's yep. go. Let's, let's run. Okay, cool. Yep, good. That's what the captain does. Lyra, your turn. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm still just going to use my range attack on the... What is this, the blue net thing on the, so or the, the net icon? He's got a net because he was grappled, and now he's prone, so I'll, I'll change it to, like, a little prone symbol. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, and he's blue because yes. he's just one of the two. 
right? the universal symbol for being prone. <laughs> yep. You see it on signs, like don't fall down here. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use my ranged. <laughs> the light, the light. Nice, nice, nailed it. Yeah, your your arrow absolutely 25. slices through this guy for uh, seven damage. Nicely done, Lyra, MVP. <laughs> damage. I think she might be the only. She's one the only one that's done one's damage. Done damage so <laughs> yeah, far. I didn't. Fuck the, fuck fight. the MV. Just P. Lyra P. Good work. <laughs> just, just the only. <laughs> just only the player. P. It's the only player. Yeah, the the dragon. Um, he he turns to you, Grigori, and he bellows, "Where is the wizard?" Because um, uh, I, I can shout and stuff while it's not my yeah. turn. And so I, I just I turn around and I point where I heard the power, the word of power, and I'm like, "That way, wizard is that way." Yeah. Let's see. So. Like, one, two, three, and four. Rolling 1d4. 1d4. Okay, yeah, so um, the dragon goes like, he bellows and he turns and he just charges off in that direction. One, yeah. two, just like burrowing through the walls and shit. <laughs> three, four, five, six, yeah. So this this whole Seven, time, Grigori is eight, just like cheering and laughing, like ten. has this huge shit eating grin on his face the whole time, just like yeah, yes, destruction. Yeah, this this dragon is into the destruction. Oh man, Strippin, you are the man. You're doing it. I love it. What? All right, he's drawing the tunnel. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So let's see. He makes a dexterity saving throw with advantage because he's invisible. Um, nails it. And he only takes half damage from that as well. So, so yeah, he takes three damage. Okay, the first little bit of damage has been done to the wizard. Animated armor time. So well, the animated armor. Earlier. I did damage. Yeah. Him, yeah. And, and also. Yeah. Hit. Oh, did you to Ferran? Yeah, twice. Yeah. It was like, like three. It was very little, but. <laughs> okay. Got it. Damage. Yep. A sliver. It was six actually. Yeah. Okay. So um, the animated armors. They, uh, so the one that's prone, like what does prone do? Let me see that condition. Exactly. He's got to stand up, I think, for his action. I can yeah, get I it. think so. Um, prone is, oh, of course it's not on the. Page. Yeah, it, it has to stand, and standing requires half of its move action. Has disadvantage on attack rolls. Attackers have advantage within five feet. Okay, yeah, so it stands, and then it takes two swings at Gallahan. Roll plus four. Roll plus four. Galahan, your AC is 16, right? Ooh, hit yeah. you twice. 1d6 plus two for eight damage and then three damage. And then the second one swings at you twice, missing you twice. So wait, Stripping, what's your HP at now? Uh, 21? 16. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to do it then. Never mind. But he wasn't. Yeah. He, so you, what did you, you grappled him and threw him on the ground and then he got up yeah. and then attacked you. Okay. He got yeah, up and attacked me twice. Let's stop yeah. manhandling the armor and maybe hit it with our weapons now. <laughs> Listen, Grigori, you're not even there. It was, I know, uh, I'm directing. It was I'm more about like, controlling the dragon. it was more about like letting the squishies not get fucked up. No, that's then, very uh, valuable. Yeah. You're the one that needs to be taking the damage. So you're doing, you're oh, doing yeah. it right. It's just, now I'm we got to kill it. I'm seeing chat say that the wizard has to make a concentration check, which you're absolutely right. So let's check exactly what that entails for the three damage that he took. So, oh, and then, oh, concentration. Two or three, two or four. Mm. Yep. Apparently the skeleton can't stand up if I'm grappling it and it's Yeah, prime. but you're not grappling it anymore. You right, you threw you threw it down. Let's see. Uh, taking damage, used. 10 or half the damage you take, whichever num is, number is higher. So that's a constitution saving throw. Here it goes. Fine. He is A-OK, -okay, does not lose his invisibility. All right, doctor. Than anything else. It's your turn. Okay, well, I'm not going to follow the dragon, because that would be... Um, and there, there is some difficult terrain, because the floorboards have been torn up here, on this red line. Uh, yeah, okay. You three... Okay, all three of you are fighting the armor together. You do not need me. Um, I am going to go out here and around, as far as okay. I can go. So i got a double move. Mm -hmm. 
one, so. Okay. There. What do cool. I see? Anything? Yeah, no, nothing. Okay, there's no, no yeah. backup coming. Or Nobody's anything. around. Okay. Like, uh, I think way down to the south, you see motion from the tents. Like, you see a couple people sort of, like, looking at the house. Like, maybe some of them are cheering and, like, jumping up and down and pointing. The dragon, the dragon, you hear. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, if I see people cheering and jumping up and down, mm -hmm. um, I'm, like, waving my arms and, like, waving for them to, like, come and loot. I'm like, the wizard is dead. Come, take your fill. Yeah, give me a bluff check. Sure. Uh, so that's what, what skill am I actually using? Deception. Deception. There Sorry. Is. Yeah. I got a plus one for that. Ba -doop. Hells yeah. Oh Bluffing yeah, no, totally. They're, they're, they believe the wizard is dead, but they also just saw a dragon go tearing through the house. So sure. nobody's, yeah. nobody's like, hey, let's go. But yeah, like they, like you see them jumping up and down and cheering and sort of like shouting happy exclamations to the heavens. Yeah. Gallahan, and, let's uh, see what your turn happens, and then, uh, Wait, I got and skip. then I'll do. F you skip me. <laughs> what did I do? Did I skip you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh dang. Okay, so Poe, do your turn. Poe actually <laughs> should have gone before me. Yes. I just want a magic missile. The which one is more hurt now? The blue guy. Yeah. Uh, at the at the state they are injured, you can't tell which one's more injured. They they both have slight dents and dings in them. Gotcha. We'll shoot the blue guy then with magic Kay. missile. Eleven damage. 11 damage, not bad. Okay, yeah, that definitely puts a big mark on him. You like blast off a couple bolts and pieces of armor go flying. Okay, good. Now, Galahan, your turn. I hate having a fucking lance. <laughs> <laughs> Just the fucking pain of my existence. Uh, Can you, you not? You got that spell that gives you advantage, right? Sorry? You got that no. spell that gives you damage, right? No, we've been through this. Great, great uh, weapon fighting. It doesn't. A lance isn't counted as a great weapon. No, no, no. But you have a spell. I have. Don't you? Yeah, I have like uh, the divine thing. Yeah, I, I don't know. I thought there was some way that you had to like negate the disadvantage, but no, yeah, there is. But it's like been removed from my thing. Shit. So I'd have to look it up. Yeah, that's the worst. Um, All right. Well, uh, take an attack, and then and then I'll do some Furhan stuff, and then we can take a break, and you can look up stuff in the break. All right. I'm just gonna yeah. I'm just gonna attack at disadvantage. I think. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna attack the the one that's prone. Or, oh, it or, stood up now, now, but yeah. now stood up. Yeah. Yeah. So it, prone stood up two seconds. So that ten, of course, you you whiff. I whiff. Yep. All right. So Furhan. Do you do you regenerate do you regenerate every round, Gillian? Uh, five, five, five rounds. rounds in a row, and we've had three. three. Yep. So let's see. That's yeah. There. Cool. Um, wow. Uh, I only see regenerating twice in the in the list. Uh, no, there's no, there's that one, and then two, three. There you go. Yeah. I, just, see, one, I didn't see your one before you rolled. Yeah. Yeah. There's three. Cool. Um. <laughs> Roll your no. I... Steven tells me when to roll the wild magic killer in. I don't have any yeah. control over that. So, uh, Farhan moves. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I, uh, I've now moved Farhan and he's done some stuff. And uh, we should go to a break. And then when we come back, we can continue this epic battle through the ruins of the wizard's manse. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, we'll take a uh, five-minute break. Two hours down, two to go. We don't go anywhere. More role play coming up right after this. We'll see you guys in just a bit.